Hi everyone, Jason here. Hope you're safe and well. Back with another video to help get you started using Soundtrap. In this video, I thought it might be cool to show how Soundtrap has created this uh, really brilliant collaboration tool so that you can get into the studio and work with other people. They can work on your project, you can get into their project. Soundtrap has created this feature and it's really one of the, the most defining features of Soundtrap. Other than all the awesome loops and all the sounds and instruments that they've created, the collaboration window feature really sets Soundtrap apart from other digital audio workstations. So let's get into it. As with a lot of other features in Soundtrap, you can begin a collaboration a number of different ways. Uh, you can start right from scratch if you don't have a project that you're working on already. You can actually do it just from the home screen here and you can click start collaboration and it'll open up this window. You can invite people through if you've connected uh, via Facebook or Twitter or WhatsApp or email. You can Click on that way, pop the email address, and it'll send them a message that way. What I've done today is I've actually got myself set up with a demo song ready to go, and I want to invite somebody to collaborate from within the song. Okay, so I've got myself signed in to two different users in two different browsers. So if I swap between the screens like this, you can see I've signed in with Jason Holmes C here and that's who I'm going to invite to collaborate. So I'm going to invite me to collaborate with me. So I'm going to click on my collaboration demo song, enter the studio and here we are ready to go with a couple of loops set up. All good. Now I can start down here by clicking invite a friend and add them that way. So I can put their username in there or their email address and that will invite them. Or up here in this blue button in the top right hand corner, this is the collaboration window. Now this is, there's a few different features that I can show you about this. Um, if I invite, I can, the same window comes up and I can invite a person that way. So I'm gonna type my name in Jason Holmes and it's Jason Holmes C. Click invite. And the invitation has been sent. Great. I'm gonna flick over to my other browser and ooh, I might get rid of my dinner tab. Delicious barramundi, but not relevant to this video. Uh, all right, so I can see on my home screen right here, Jason Holmes invited you to collaboration demo song. Click accept. I'm going to choose to yes, get notifications. So that'll just update me when changes have been made uh, by the person I'm collaborating with, AKA me. And it'll take us into our studio. Now I'm gonna flick back over to my other browser while we wait for my slow internet to catch up. And we can see here, waiting for Jason Holmes C to accept the invite. And what will happen in this window is we can actually now communicate through this window. We can actually text uh, via the window and you can even click on call and it'll actually make a video call and you can work real time uh, across a video chat, just like with Zoom or you know Facebook Messenger or uh, Skype or any of those other options. So I'm going to flick back over to my other browser, Jason Holmes C. And that's brought me into my studio. Here we are. As you can see now in this window, I can type and communicate with my collaborator. So I could say, uh, hi, I'd like to work on a melody. Hit that, flick over to my other browser. Boom, there's the message right there. So we can communicate that way to the person that you're collaborating with, really useful. 
I won't click on the video call today. I'll let you do that and experiment. Um, if someone's being a little bit slow working on the project with you, you can give them a poke. But I'd like to show you just the way the workflow to get uh, in there collaborating because there is a little bit of a process. If I say go to my loops window and make a change here, I'm just going to add another layer of drums in there. I'm not sure what this is, but now it's really important to get this process up and running as you work with other people. Otherwise it can be quite confusing and you can lose track of where somebody is. Okay. So I'm going to click. It's really important. Once you make a change, hit save and it'll save that. And then if I flick back over to my other account, you'll see this little notification here saying your collaborators made updates. It's really important as the person that you're collaborating with to hit sync. And that will sync the project. And then straight away, you see that change that I've made from the other account. And so you can create this feedback effect. So if I, from my Jason Home C account, I go and make another change. Uh, say I'm going to work on the arrangement. I'm just going to stretch that out, make that change, hit save, boom, go back to the other account and you can see Jason Home C has made changes to the project. Hit sync and you'll see those changes. Pretty cool. Uh, you can work on that really quickly and come up with something. Um, you just have to make sure that you're hitting save and sync, save and sync, save and sync uh, so that you don't get lost and you see what the, the progress is being made. I'll show you just one last thing in today's video. It's a nice short, sweet video this week. Uh, another way to com communicate with people, I'm going to go back to my home screen here. So one other way that you can communicate with people if not through that collaboration window, is up here in the top far right, and it's that mail icon right there. If I click on that, it will take me into my Soundtrap email. Now it's worth checking this from time to time to see if people have emailed you. I've cleared everything out in here, so I don't actually have any messages on the go, but this is also another way to communicate with people on Soundtrap. Okay, everyone, hope that's been really helpful today. Collaborating with other people is a fantastic way to bounce off each other, have creative ideas, get inspiration, and just have fun. Get in there, have a chat, make some tunes. It's great. Hope you experiment with that. Hope you've got somebody that you can get in there and make some awesome dirty dubstep or whatever with. I've been Jason. Stay safe and well. I'll catch you for the next video.